These are readings over my pillow, over my bed. That's my bed. There's my pillars. This is real, where I'm holding the micro detectors where I put my head, as you can see. We're getting pulse microwaves there. You can see the readings, yeah. That's over my bed where my pillar is. On the other video I've got on the chair, I sit on, we'll have a look at that. Um, I said that's my bed. Um, that's my chair. See, so there's a similar amount. So again, I don't have any Wi-Fi. I don't have a mobile phone that's connected to the internet or where anyone's making a call at the moment. These are just levels of pulsed microwaves that are in, are in my home most of the time. There's no transmitters nearby. And um, quite a few places where I, have, where I am have shown this. Um, I had a studio and it didn't have any microwave radiation in it for a while. And I met a certain musician who was involved in some other things that I've put on part one, um, one of my other recordings, uh, part two actually, sorry, yeah, part two. Um, and then suddenly in my studio, I started getting very, very high readings of microwaves. This is my shower. This is the second floor of my home. There you go. Um, that's microwave radiation in the shower. N nothing switched on. The shower switched off. This is where I stand above my sink. Yeah. So we've got that. We've got the bedroom. We've got my bathroom. Now we will go in the living room. This is the living room. A bit dark here. Yeah. Um, this is my sofa where I sit. And I guess it it's roughly where about your, your head is. So there's the pulse micro microwave radiation levels that you're getting. See how the pulse they're arriving very quickly. Different values, but they're arriving quickly. Um if you there's actually if you add these levels up and you say for instance an hour, you're subjected to these levels for an hour, and you do a mean of the levels, you write down the different figures from the lowest figure to the highest figure, you do a mean, you add them all up and then you divide them by the amount of those figures, you will get the average for the exposure that you're having. That's another chair over there. And that's that's very similar. You know, it's not just me that's sitting in these things, it's these guests as well. You see we've got like similar readings there. Um, um near the window. Yeah, so it's similar. So you add these up to um, what levels you get in an hour. And then, for instance, say so you're roughly in the residence for 12 hours a day, sleeping, eating, things like that. You add them up and you times them by seven. And so you times them by 365. And then you get the level of radiation, microwave radiation you, that you're exposed to over the year. And there's actually a graph online. I will find it and I'll put it up. And it tells you. The, you, you do what I've just said, and it tells you the certain illnesses and certain behavioural problems um, that are associated with your particular level of microwave radiation that you've been exposed to over the year. And then it goes on to say, if you're exposed for two years, what other things you might develop. And these, these levels here, they're not massive, but they are five. But when this, this is very, very accurate, this reader. When this reader reads five, we're not points at the moment. Uh, that is considered very harmful, um, and you have to discontinue a microwave that's emitting, emitting over five. But you're not meant to stand near a microwave anyway. It's just some instructions. Not only that, but how long do you use a microwave? Not not 14, 15 hours a day. So you see, this will be um, the equivalent or worse of that. There's also radio frequencies present in my living room. This is my. This is my kitchen. I don't have any microwaves, I don't have anything like that. So you see the levels are similar in here. That's my fridge. Yeah, now the fridge. It's 
not. It doesn't look any worse in the fridge, it's the same. Um, like I said, you can see them. But I will, like I say, I've also got a, a radio wave uh, detector that seems to be coming worse from here near the window. Um, and this radio detector, it actually um, says that the radio frequency is present in the um, kitchen. And there's radio frequencies present. You see, there's quite a lot today. There's radio frequencies present also, in addition to microwaves, in the living room. So I've got microwaves and radio frequencies. And in the kitchen, I've got microwaves and radio frequencies. Um, radio frequencies are, are known to be used in, in bugging devices. And there is some evidence to say that that may be the case in this particular instance. Um, there's also um, a panel in the hall and that sets off the radio frequency device but it doesn't set off, it doesn't indicate any microwaves are, are being emitted from these. So these levels are getting quite high now. Um, the constant and the pulsed. You do feel a little ill, to say the least. And I did notice a massive difference in my studio when these levels weren't there and then when they were. I went to my studio, if you've you listened to part two, I went to my studio during the daytime when I'd never used to use it and they wasn't there. There was people using all kinds of machinery um, in the units around there because it, it's a unit, it's a high, hired unit in, in, a, in a place and there's all different businesses there. and there was no microwaves whatsoever, maybe like not point up to not point eight or something, probably somebody's Wi-Fi or something. And then when I went in the evening, I felt that sickly, heavy, sickly feeling, oh, I don't feel well, you know? And the microwaves were very, very high in there. But interestingly enough, only near the sofa, where people and myself would sit, and the computer chair where I, where I would do my editing, I've been sitting in that chair for hours doing editing and listening back to tracks and stuff. So it was directly coming from above the computer chair. And in the area where I used to sing, where my microphone was, they were very, very high there. Now I turned everything off. I even turned the electricity off, the supply off at the mains. So not these microwaves and radio frequencies was both present in the studio. None of them were coming from any of my equipment. Um, I go into other people's houses, I go into businesses, I go into, I've been to a wide variety of places and they do not have microwave radiation in there at these levels. Um, I went into a council building to actually report these levels and I took my meter with me to explain about it and I used it. And there wasn't even 0 0.01 level. Um, I've been to as many people's houses as I can. And they, they don't have this problem. And this problem only arose since meeting and coming into contact and having, let's say, disagreements with certain people, which did involve the police. Right, okay. So I've um, exposed the microwave radiation levels that are in my home. Um, I will do another one where I've got the radio frequency detector here as well. So you can see both. I've got both microwaves and radio frequencies in two of my rooms, the kitchen and the living room. Okay, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Goodbye.